Welcome to Behind the Steam with the Marshall Steam Museum. I am standing outside uh, the doors of our carriage house, and as you can see from the signs right behind me, usually this is only open to volunteers and staff. Uh, sometimes we will push open the doors and let the general public peek into our workplace, which is where we uh, work on our steam cars. But what you might not know is right down below us, there is an engine shop, which we work on our steam and diesel locomotives. And I wanna take you on a special tour of the space. So come follow along with me. As the sign says, don't knock your noggin. So luckily I am short enough that won't be an issue. And here is a space that the general public probably has never been in. I'm going to give you a quick behind the scene about our two 484 Northern engines, which have a really interesting story. So these two trains, the 401 and the 402, ran regularly between 1961 and 1965 until um, the Magic Age of Steam was closed down briefly um, until 1970, and other fun attractions were added to the site. But these two trains are kind of the original ones that ran around the property, and we still use them today. And they are maintained by our Auburn Valley Railroad volunteers. So on August 5th, 1960, Clarence Marshall's 75th birthday, the 401, made its debut to the general public on our property. All throughout the fall of 1960, the 401 carried hundreds of passengers and it soon became apparent to Clarence that they were going to need a second train. And that's where the 402 comes in. In April of 1961, Clarence reached out again to Little Engines where he originally purchased the 401 to see if they had a second train to purchase and he ended up getting hold of the widow of the owner who said that she had this prototype in stock and was able to send it to Clarence. So technically, the 402 comes before the 401, but most people don't know that. So a little bit of insider knowledge about the 402. 